Alright guys and welcome back to more Danganronpa and we are about to hang out with Mondo Mondo the man Mondo Mondo he's our man if he can't do it nobody can you want to hang out with me? Hell yeah! Perfect, I was getting bored. Anyway, let's do something fucking nuts, man! I had a very exciting time with Mondo. Mondo and I grew a little closer today. Oh yeah, might as well. I think he really likes noodles. Cup of noodles. Damn you! You have something like this? Hey, damn it! Why didn't you hand it over or hand it? Over earlier, damn, Mondo's was so pleased with something I gave it makes me happy. Damn. Uh, shit. Ah oh, damn it. Bastard! Damn it, bastard son of a bitch! What's wrong? Why are you so mad? What? Why am I mad? Why am I mad? Can't you see why I'm mad? I need to get out of here. I need to get out and run wild. Uh, shit. So pissed off right now, man. Shit. I know how you feel, but just don't do anything crazy, okay? Uh. Hey, how about we have a one-on-one? One-on-one? -on -one? No. Relax, it's just a bare-knuckle brawl, no weapons, what do you say? What? What? Didn't you hear me? A bare-knuckle brawl. Bare-knuckle brawl. I better come up with something fast. When he says a bare-knuckle brawl, I think he must mean hand-to-hand. One-punch knockout! <laughs> hand-to-hand. A hand-to-hand -hand fight? Huh? Hell yeah, hand-to-hand, -hand, knuckle to knuckle. Hold on, friends can't fight each other. What? But that's the only what? way I can burn off all this energy. I mean, I've never been in a fight before. Oh, I know, why don't you go ask Sakura? Huh? What? I mean, you can spar with her, right? You don't have to actually fight her, but just train. D Damn don't you. be a fucking idiot, I can't hit a girl. And she's a girl, right? I ruined my honor, my mom would kill me. Shit. I'm serious. I can't hit girls, man. It's not like I'm scared of her or anything, you bastard. <laughs> you don't have to shout, man. D damn you. Shouting's in my blood, asshole. When I get stressed, I yell. Shit. <laughs> Sounds like he must be really stressed out. Don't fuck with me. It's just a nervous habit. What's the big deal? Other than the fact that it makes it hard to ask out girls, really. I get all nervous and I start yelling, so I always get rejected. <laughs> and thanks to that, I'm on a 10 game losing streak right now. It really sucks. 10 games, that's pretty bad. Shit, I forgot about that too. Thanks for reminding me, jackass. How you gonna make it up to me, shit stain? Now I'm getting depressed and shit. I'm out of here. Shoulders slumped. Mondo charged away. I guess I messed that up. But I did get to see a side of Mondo I had no idea existed. It's almost kind of cute. He murdered me if he heard me say that, though. Downshift. Look at all these skills that won't be able to pay the bill because we already came in with the kill on the mastermind in the entire game. Alright, time to hang out with Mondo again. Let's go hang out with Mondo Burger, man. Mondo Burger. What's going on, Mondo? Damn, you tall as shit, dude. Why you taller than me? Why, why can I walk through your body, bro? Why are you transparent? All right, here we go. Hanging out with Mondo. And again, like I said uh, in the last previous parts, go ahead, leave comments below. This, you know, suggesting uh, you know what characters you want to see, what character endings you want to see at the end of this playthrough. Hell yeah. Because I can't get everybody. I mean, I could, but it would take time, and I ain't got time. I had a very exciting time with Mondo. I don't think I need to hand over any presents right now. Yo. Hey, Makoto, man. Listen, there's something I gotta ask you. What is it? You sound really serious. What? Just shut up and listen. So, are you a dog person or a cat person? Huh? Stop fucking around. Just tell me before I beat the shit out of you. I'm a dog person, by the way, so what are you? Come on, tell me. I'm a dog? Am I a dog or a cat person? Well, if Mondo's a dog person, so... I would say a dog. <laughs> I'm a kind of a dog person, too. What? Really? You're just not saying that, right? No, it's true. It's true. Actually, I grew up with a dog in the house. 
it was a mutt. It was still pretty cute. Hell yeah. Right? Cats are okay, but dogs are way cuter. How old is your dog? We had it when I was a kid. It's dead now. Oh. I know how that feels, man. It's tough to lose a dog you love so much. I totally know how you feel. So you used to have a dog too? Yo. Yeah, Chuck. A Maltese. What? A Maltese? He died when he was nine. I figured Mondo would be more of a pit bull guy or Doberman. By the way. He was so smart, he'd bring in the newspaper every morning. Apparently that's so cool. Hell yeah. And then he begged me to take him for a walk. He looked at me with those eyes of his and wiggled that little butt. God, I don't want to remember this shit. This seriously sucks. Don't look at me right now. God damn it. I gotta go. Chuck, my baby boy. Mondo left in a state I'd never seen him in before. I had no idea he loved dogs that much. You know what I just realized? Ooh, damn, he just gave us another skill. Damn. I should have hung out with Mondo more in the playthrough. But anyway, what I really don't understand at this moment, did they ever explain why the damn um, Mondo's gang was on the... um? His gang's name was on the, uh, what's it call it? Was on the, um, the pickaxe. <laughs> they never explained that. They never did explain that, did they? Isn't that yes, Cleaning Maestro. See? We can use Cleaning Maestro's to level up our, uh, character's cleaning level. Which is really good. So I really didn't have to level up anybody, which is cool. So we're probably gonna level up only certain characters that can play a really good alternate role like Mondo right here. So he's six and six. Alright, so anyway what we're gonna do is probably just gonna clean. We're gonna have these two take a rest. We're gonna have Sakura be the only one cleaning. She's got super hyper energy. Damn, she didn't even get a lot done. She has super hyper energy and only got that much done. Come on. Oh, you know what? She had horrible cleaning level. I take that back. Anyway, we're going to hang out with Mondo again. This is the month of Mondo. The month of Mondo. Get ready. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Shit, man. Normally, I don't hang out with guys this much. You know what I mean? I got time to kill, so whatever. I'm down for whatever. Uh, no, not... Yeah, let's give him something. We got plenty of couple noodles, so why not? This thing is, like, super Hell rare. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Damn, I'm lucky as shit. Yo. Could you come with me for a second? Where are we going? My room. I want to talk to you. Why? Damn, we maxed him out pretty quick. Hey. Just come with me, asshole. <laughs> Mondo dragged me to his room. Heaven's Gate. Is that what it says? Look at that. Can I talk to you about something important? Important? Yo. It's kind of cheesy, but... There isn't really anyone else here I can talk to about this kind of stuff. I can't show weakness in front of my classmates, and I've never had a friend on the same level as me. So do you mind? Yeah, I mean, if you're okay talking to me... That's true. Listen, do you like being a high schooler? Sure, it's fun, but why are you asking that out of the blue like this? Yo. I like it too, you know. I'm, I like screwing around with my friends and stuff. Whenever I get to go out and run wild with my crazy diamond crew, it's such a goddamn rush. I still don't understand why they had the, the crazy diamond on the freaking Minecraft idol. <laughs> on the pickaxe. The first thing I think of is Minecraft? Really? I'm sure, I mean sure, there was a shit ton of pressure to build up the gang and everything, but still, getting to hang with them was the fucking best, man. <laughs> But I've been thinking a lot lately. What's gonna happen when I'm done with school? Everyone in the crazy diamond is gonna graduate. I, I gave everything to them. What, am, what do I do then? I'm not smart like the rest of you. College, not a chance. So I gotta get a job, right? I, I feel I like just... maybe I already done whatever I, I am going to do in life. Maybe I maxed out. It's like I'm empty now. I don't know. I can't figure out how to say it. The point is, that's how big a part of my life the crazy diamonds have been. So when I think about not having that around anymore, 
I get scared. Remember, that's why I came here in the first place to run away. To run away from fear. That's true. Hmm. And maybe this is my punishment for everything up till now. Maybe I'm being punished for just doing whatever I felt like all my life. I don't think that's what this is. I think you're lucky to have something you're so passionate about. Being able to get into something that much. I'm sure that'll be useful later on in life. Shit, Makoto, you want me to put on a suit or some shit? Yo. Maybe you're right. Maybe having as much fun as I did maybe means I'll be able to dedicate myself to working hard from now on. Hell yeah. You know, when I think about it, maybe it won't be all that bad. Maybe I'll even start to look forward to the idea of working just a little. So what kind of job would you want to get? Yo. I want to be a carpenter for sure. I figured I'd done so such a good job busting shit apart. I'd probably be good at building it too. Why? Just watch. What? I'm going to become the best carpenter you carpenter you ever seen. My bad I was looking out the window. Well, it's you, so I'm sure you can do it. Dude, shit. Of course that means we got to get out of here first. As long as we work hard and don't give up. Hey. Yeah, you're right. I'm glad I got to talk to Mondo like this. Heaven's greatest crazy diamond biker gang. Yeah, I thought that said Heaven's Gate. Mondo's report card. Yeah, got another trophy. Yeah, unlocking them trophies. Baby, baby. And I got two trophies. God damn, making them trophies. Ghostface Skiller. Ghostface Skiller. Wait, here we go. If we scroll down. Damn, look at all those trophies I unlocked today. Memoirs of a fashion eater lost in skins. Lation. The devil wears a high school uniform. A rebel without a high school degree. Huh. Ghostface Skilla for the skill points. I talked with Mondo a little bit longer, then went back to my room. Ding dong. All right. Shut up, shut up, shut up. All right, so I guess in this episode, what we need to do is... <laughs> shut up, Byakuya. What we might want to go ahead and do... Isn't that Ooh, he gave us a spirit bomb. But what we want to go ahead and do before we do anything is set everybody to do what they need to do. These two will clean, and they should actually get a lot done. They should actually refill it. All right, we're good. All right, let's go meet with somebody. So I will probably have to use three people to re refill our cleanness, our cleanliness meter. But anyway, let's hang out with Chihiro since we already hung out with her like, I believe two times before. So we're gonna hang out with Chihiro again. Damn it, I keep calling her a she. I mean him a she. Damn it. I know Chihiro's a dude, but damn, this is the biggest trap I've seen in, in any kind of video game. Bigger than Bridget. Huh? You mean there's just the two of us? Yeah. I'm a little nervous though. I spent some time with Chihiro even though she seemed kind of embarrassed. Yeah, might as well. What should we give her? Like the game did a real good job at convincing me it was a she. Way a way better job than Naoto Shiragane. I'm just saying. She loves this shit. I mean, he loves Thank this you. shit. <laughs> um. If you don't hate the idea, would you like to talk some more? Jeez, if there's anyone who can say no to someone who acts like that, i like to meet him. <laughs> sure, I'd love to learn more about you. Mm. Okay, but what do you want to know? Let's see, what kind of program are you working on now? I bet it's pretty amazing. You know? I just started the research process for something. You remember the database software I told you about? I'm retooling it into something a little bit more complex. But I signed an NDA with the company that hired me, so I can't really go into the details. And they probably wouldn't want the wrong people to hear about it, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't trust you or anything. I just made a promise, you know? Sorry. It's okay. It's my fault for asking about something you couldn't talk about. Mm. But... Maybe I can give you a little hint. It has to do with simulating human thoughts. Ah, wait. Artificial intelligence. We already hung- Wait, no. 
I think we already did this, didn't we? You already figured it out. Was my hand too easy? What should I do? If they find out I broke my promise, they might. Don't worry. I'm not gonna say anything to anyone. I don't think I hung out with it though. Um, I don't remember at least. I guess I can tell you about you it. Know? Working on the type of artificial intelligence the world has never seen before. A strong AI is designed to think like a human. Um. program that can achieve true self-consciousness, full ego awareness. Mm. In other words, a strong AI is completely in, is a complete entity, a program capable of becoming aware. It's always just been a hypothesis. Plenty of experts don't think it's even possible. Sounds like something from a sci-fi movie and you're working on something like that? But... Well, like I said, right now I'm just researching it. I made lots of progress on the programming side and the intelligence development. I keep looking out the window, my bad. Mm. But when it comes to an actual awareness, it's still a long way off. It might even be impossible. Really. You know? I'm not sure how to put it, but no matter how well designed or complex a program is, no matter how closely the software can simulate the workings of the human brain, I don't I don't think that's enough. If the program is only simulating thought, it will always be lacking something. Lacking? Yeah. Well, I guess you could say a soul. If you could somehow pour your own soul into the software, maybe a strong AI could be created. Wait, a soul? Mm -hmm. It's not a programming term. I am not even sure how that would work on a technical level. Sorry, I forgot I mentioned I forget I mentioned it. All I have right now is the theory. There's still lots of research to do. Artificial intelligence sounds like a pretty tough subject, but I'm glad I got to hear about it. Um. I wasted your time on another boring topic. I must have bored you to death, huh? No, the complete opposite. It was really interesting. Huh? You mean it? Yay. Oh shit, I skipped it on accident. Next time we talk, I want to hear about you. Unlike you, I really am boring. <laughs> no excuses, it's your, ne it's your turn next time. Okay. <laughs> when she says it like that, I think the only way to refuse is if you're one of those soulless AI programs she mentioned. <laughs> yeah, I got them skill points. Ding dong, shama lama ding dong, ching chong, queen kwong. All right, here we go. We're about to hang out with Chihiro one more time, hopefully. Maybe it'll be the last time. Apparently, like, the people who die earlier in the game seem to be have, like, the shortest hangouts, which is pretty cool. But it kind of makes sense, though. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Makoto, you remember your promise? What promise? Huh? Did you forget already? <laughs> you promised that we could talk about you this time. You really did forget. Wait! Chihiro looks really disappointed with sagging soldier shoulders. She wandered away. That's right, I did promise. She wanted to talk about me this time. I better go after her. I headed to Chihiro's room. Damn, we just came in her room. <laughs> I mean, his room, damn it! His room! Is that a camera? Is that pizza boxes? How you get pizza? Where the hell did you get pizza? Listen, I just wanted to tell you that I didn't forget about my promise. Of course I remember, so cheer up, okay? Um... Then can we talk about you today? Sure, I don't mind at all. Yay! Really? Then come in and sit down. I can come in? <laughs> yeah, of course. I know what she said, but I'm not sure she should be so quick to let down her defenses like this. <laughs> okay, let's go. I want to hear all about you. I'm happy to talk, but what do you want to know? Um... All right, well, let's start with the question. Huh? You know? What do you like to do in your spare time? Well, you know. I watch TV, play video games, lay around, that's pretty much it. Huh? What about sports? I don't really play anything. The only time I run anywhere is during gym or when I'm running late in the morning. Huh? Really? And you're still so strong? Strong me? No, I'm pretty much the bottom rung of the masculinity. But, but... You're on the bottom rung! Oh. What? Chihiro seemed disappointed somehow. 
Hey, what's the matter? I'm looking for someone strong. Someone strong? What, what about Sakura? I mean a guy. Think about strong guys. There is someone here who has probably been in a lot of fights. Mondo? And what about Mondo? He's the ultimate biker gang leader, right? He's got to be the strongest guy here. I see. Mondo, yeah, that's it. But why are you looking for a strong guy? She went all quiet again. Are you like into tough guys or something? You know? I want to start tra training. I'm so weak. Huh? Um... I thought if I could talk to someone strong about it, it might help motivate me. So that's why, huh? Sorry, I wish I could help somehow. Hey, Makota, do you have any kind of um inferiority complex inferiority complex um, you know some part of you that you can't stand something you absolutely hate well i guess so for me it's, it's how forgettably ordinary i am it's been made painfully aware of this part of me ever since i came here the rest of you have your ultimate abilities but i don't have any kind of talent at all you know and how do you overcome that kind of feeling I'm not sure I can. That's why I decided to just accept it. It's how I feel, and there's nothing I can do about it. And I find myself thinking about it too much. I just find something else to do with my time. If I throw myself into something hard enough, I can forget about it for a little while. That's... Throw myself into something. I see. That's a good idea. If I don't do something, that's nothing's ever going to change. <laughs> yeah, I think your advice has helped me understand. Advice? I'm not sure if... It was anything like that. <laughs> Thanks, Mikoto. Well, if it helped, that's good enough for me. Talking to her like this, I feel like I've gotten to know Chihiro really well. I think we understand each other a lot better. I wonder if I finally become a friend to her in the truest sense of the word. Unlock the skill cheat code. Give yourself a pat on the back. That has to be with, uh... That has to deal with the, uh, the hangman sessions. I bet you any money. Ding, ding, dong, ching chong, queen kong, uh, king kong. Okay then. Something Sweet that three. rhymes on all. <laughs> yep. Two more cleaning sessions and we'll have everything cleaned up. <laughs> Shut up, Yakuya. All right, so that's it. I think we hung out with Mondo. Ooh, chief, chief. Nice. That is very good. That will level up our material level. So immediately use it because every time you go to a different level you um or every time you do a new game plus you lose all your items I completely didn't realize that until like my third playthrough hmm. let's just try to get somebody higher up past six maybe all right I just realized I, I don't even have Kiyotaka. Kiyotaka is sleeping, dude. I had Byakuya clean. Wow, I messed up. That's why I wasn't getting cleaned up. I'm, I'm so dumb, dude. But what I'm going to do here, guys, save the game, take a short break. And once we come back, I guess next time we'll hang out with somebody else. And I guess I'll decide during the break. So I'll see you guys soon.